Norval Foundation opened in April of 2018 and really our core message is to, um, to engage with modern and contemporary art, so art from the 20th and 21st centuries. So with that in mind, we, we try to pair or to create a dialogue between what's happened in the past um, and how that's shaping uh, contemporary practice. For example, we worked with uh, the artist Ibrahim Mahama, um, a remarkable Ghanaian artist, and we paired his work alongside that of David Goldblatt. Another key aspect of the foundation is this remarkable collection that we have on site, the, the Homestead Collection. So this is a, a collection made up of work from the 19th century up into the present. Uh, the gaps in the collection are being filled in and, and this, this collection, which is a few thousand objects, is really a resource for us to use. So we draw upon it for, um, for many of our exhibitions. For example, Zanelli Mahole's exhibition, And Then You See Yourself. That really used uh, many of the, the photographs of Mahole's work in the, in the collection. We also have undertaken uh, a number of commissions um, at the foundation. Uh, so for example, the work that's behind me now, and if we just look at it uh, quickly, you'll see uh, Ati Pataruga's Inyanga Zonyaka, um, also known as Notes from the Lunar Songbook. I think what's great about Noble Foundation is the way that we engage with audiences of all ages, backgrounds and various knowledge of art, um, partly through our education program which engages with young learners through outreach programs as well as creating books about art that um, kind of encourage a love of art. Um, as well as kind of public programming, whether that be um, encouraging people to come in and engage with our sculpture garden or inviting artists to kind of speak a bit more about their practice. We try to focus our resources on promoting South African and African artists, um, largely because we feel they are underrepresented in the larger context. However, we do think that there are um, times where artists engage with certain themes or issues that are very relevant to a South African audience. Um, an example of that is an artist like Lisa Rihanna um, who engages with indigenous issues in New Zealand and we think that that kind of relates to some of the issues we face in South Africa. Yeah, I've got a strong focus on, on art and on people and a way to connect with not only our community but to connect with a larger community and also the continent was to focus strongly on education, but education in a different form um, to use art theory as a tool to connect and break down the barriers. So we've decided to create these children books, um, strongly focusing on art history theory. For me, most importantly, is art kind of enlarges our capacity to empathy and, um, and I think that's where that role of almost giving somebody the tools to understand um, helps to build those bridges because otherwise you walk through and it just goes over your head. And you know, each one of us in the ecosystem, and that's why it's so amazing having the Cape Town Art Fair because they, everybody in this ecosystem is very, very important, each one. But what I love about the art fair is the fact that they actually bring us all together. They make a, that moment in time when we all work together, um, which is for me a very special moment in, in, in Cape Town's kind of calendar. <laughs>